Welcome to the Model Vegas Show, where we talk with locals in the community to highlight one of my favorite things about Vegas, its people. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Model Vegas Show. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for watching and listening. Uh, what is the Model Vegas Show? Well, it is a place where you will discover that Vegas is way more than just the Strip. Yes, I said that. And where we'll meet some cool people and we'll learn a thing or two. Today's fabulous <laughs> guest is Andrea Martinez. Hi, Andrea. Hello. Thank you so much for being oh, here thank today. thank you so much. Um, Andrea is the director of operations at the Just One Project, which is a local grassroots nonprofit organization and Nevada's largest food pantry. She is, was, I'm sorry, also the uh, program manager at Three Square for five years, where you worked with children, right? Um, All the children. <laughs> and nutrition programs there. Um, and Three Square's agency is an agency actually with, um, just one project, yep. right? Three Squares, the food bank, and we're an agency partner of Three Squares. That's amazing. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I know that you are very passionate about ending hunger in the Vegas community. And uh, you're kind of like a, a rock star out there with uh, Brooke, who is the founder of Just One Project, um, trying to end it tirelessly in Vegas. Uh, thank you. So yeah. where do we start? Uh, tell us a little bit about Just One Project. Yeah, so the Just One Project um, is very close to my heart. I have the wonderful opportunity of getting to know them from my past at Three Square. Mm -hmm. um, Brooke has been an inspiration to me, goodness, for about the past four and a half years or so um, from when I very first met her. Yeah. Um, we are a local nonprofit that was founded on the idea of collecting, uh, connecting the mm -hmm. community through volunteerism. So really just trying to find projects to get people to exactly to your show's point, to yeah. realize that Vegas is way more than the Strip. Yeah. And we can do so much here for each other. Um, so we operate the largest mobile food distribution. So we have 10 pop-up and gives mm -hmm. that we call them that happen once a month. And we go into different food deserts in in that community and mm -hmm. we distribute over 250,000 pounds of food to uh over 13,000 people that is amazing so like when you say pop up you're like basically popping up at like a, a school or a, a, you're kind of coordinating with an organization that wants to you know get some recognition there and pop up at that place and have all these people come there and yeah it's beautiful so our pop-up and gifts yeah. so we do it at schools because the school is a super yeah. uh, trusted place for kids and families to go and we have amazing uh corporate and community uh sponsors who kind of go to each of those locations so they'll yeah. pick and that will be their location that they're dedicated to we have about 30 to 50 volunteers at every one and yeah. so we pop up in the community it's like a farmer's market style so the families come through they get fresh produce they get dairy they get meat um, and some shelf stable items to last them throughout the month. That's amazing. Um, sometimes you guys do them twice a month. Yes, we yeah. do have a few locations that operate twice a month at mm -hmm. the beginning and at the end. So it's really amazing that we get to hit uh, these parts of the community uh, multiple times throughout the month. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've been to the actual place where yeah. you guys, because people can actually walk in to the facility and get free food too. They can. We yeah. are really fortunate to get to go into the community as well as have them come to us. So we have a pantry mm -hmm. where we are senior focused, but we also operate emergency food. So anybody in the community that is struggling with uh, food insecurity is more than welcome to come. Yeah. Um, we have um, are open Monday through Friday, so we are available if anyone needs. And we are moving. Yes, um, where which is going? super exciting. We have a beautiful, mm -hmm. welcoming place. We really try to create um, an environment where anyone who needs food feels like they're going to Target to pick up groceries. It's cooler than Target. <laughs> what are you talking about? I it's say... so cool the way it's set up <gasps> and like light. hot pink yes. and um, they had like a, a, le a zebra looking carpet yes. on the floor. I mean, it, have it. <laughs> who's who actually decorated that place? I love it. Brooke, of course. Of she's course she's she a visionary did. behind everything that we do yeah. um, and really just wants to create the absolute most welcoming environment for our the people that we're serving, mm -hmm. but also the volunteers that are coming in. We always have music playing. Generally, it's 80s. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> usually there's a dance karaoke party going on at all times. Yeah. Um, yep, as everyone's well in as, good spirits. Yes. Um, we have all of our holiday candles going. So you walk in and it just smells like the holidays. Yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't look it. I was shocked. When I went there, because I didn't feel like I was at a food pantry. 
that was, that was the awesome. the yeah it was it was so clean organized uh cute trendy i don't know like it just has a very inviting feeling you know which so, means so much to us because that is definitely the vibe that we go to create it's that yeah. someone feels like they we are there for them which we truly are so we really yeah. hope that anyone that comes gets to feel that that's awesome yeah um and let's talk about brooke she is she's a she's um what, what words do i want to use? she's a firecracker is <laughs> that, that a good is. description it is firecracker is. <laughs> when i first met her I, I had been told before i met her that she was a firecracker and uh i didn't i don't think that the description was given to me well enough and i was like oh my god this is Brooke. she's cool she's awesome what is it like working for her or oh, with her i should say with yes, her with her yeah. she is the biggest advocate for all of us who work mm -hmm. with her, but also for this community. It is truly inspiring. Um, it might actually make me cry. She is wonderful. <laughs> she cry. she truly just cares so much about this community. Um, she started this organization with the mindset that it you truly can make a difference with one mm -hmm. act of kindness, one volunteer event, um, and how many people would do more if they had those connections and those opportunities. Right. So that's kind of where the Just One Project started was – you know, how do we get more people to learn about these opportunities? Because mm -hmm. there are so many people, I think, would, that would love to get involved yeah. if they just knew how. Right. Um, so we, yes, we work on hunger and we know that it's completely solvable and we mm -hmm. are dedicated to solving that issue. But we also know that it is kind of our space to connect the community to volunteering yeah. because we couldn't do what we do without our almost 500 volunteers yeah. that come every month. <laughs> you really do have a lot of volunteers. I've yes. been to one of your events before. Um, you guys have galas. Oh, you guys yeah. have all these different, like, fancy events all we the try. time. We try to it's be fancy. <laughs> I remember I saw one of her videos. She's like, oh, um, she does a lot of, like, IG videos oh, yes. and stuff. We are all about IGTV. Yeah. Uh, follow the Just One Project. Yeah, and she You'll was saying, like, oh, to her um, counterparts, like, do you guys have your gowns? I'm like, gowns? <laughs> yes. Like, this is fancy. That was in preparation for gala because all of us got our gala dresses. I think maybe three days before gala actually happens. I want to go to a gala. How can I go? To gala? Yes. Well, we have it um, coming up next October. Okay. So we will keep you posted. Okay, please. Um, we have a lot of really awesome events. So we have our gala, uh -huh. and then we have a really awesome event that is happening in the spring. Okay. It's our corporate field day. So you know, you remember field yeah. day when you were like a kid. Yes. And like tug of war and like obstacle courses yeah. and things like that. Well, we do that um, adult style. Uh -huh. you know, there's. Beer tent. Wait, There's so people. these are adults yes. doing a field. <gasps> we, I'm definitely going to. Yes, that. so we <laughs> always get our corporate partners to sign up. It's open to anyone and okay. everyone. Uh, teams of eight. Okay. And you just register. And it. I mean, it gets real. Oh, so basically different organizations, mm -hmm. they sign up and they'll have like at least eight people. Yep. Last up. year That's we had about so 20 cool. teams. Um, and oh, I think wow. our goal this year is like 30 teams. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's just like being a kid again. You are doing... Um, those like uh -huh. obstacle courses, uh, the relay races, everything yeah. that you can see. It is a blast. Okay, I'm def I'm so we will keep you posted. Yes. I'm going to the gala. What else is going on? I know, right? I'm we have all these things. we have all these events. You gotta come to our blast. By the way, I did notice that you're drinking a glass of wine. <laughs> yes, yeah, speaking of beer tents at our events, um, those are <laughs> my choices. <laughs> You like to have Listen, fun, girlfriend. You have the most welcoming studio here. They offered wine. We drank I on the job. I couldn't say no. And I figure red wine is healthier. It right? is. It is. So Every night you have one glass. You, know, you just have to. I couldn't say no. I needed to embrace their how hospitality. You feeling, how you feeling right now? That's all that Only matters. Only two sips then. <laughs> oh, God. That's hilarious. So, um, okay. Okay. I know that you're a Vegas local, yeah. And obviously, my show is about locals. Yes. And uh, I want kind of, and I, I know you have this like passion for what you're doing, right? Yeah. So, what was it like when you were a kid, and you were in elementary school? Um, I don't know what school you went to. If you want to tell me, but um, what was it like in, in the cafeteria? Did you have any experiences where you witnessed um, kids being hungry? You know, when you were little? I don't, yeah. yeah. So um, I went to Farron Elementary, Woodbury yeah. Middle School, and Chaparral High School. Uh -huh. um, and so those are some of the areas, even though we don't serve at 
those three schools directly. We're mm-hmm. serving in those neighborhoods. So for me, even now to get to go in those neighborhoods and watch um, getting to serve the community, it's huge. So um, growing up, definitely, I think growing up in Vegas uh, is definitely interesting. Mm-hmm. For the longest time, I didn't know that movie theaters existed outside of casinos. You're kidding. No. Me. Um, growing up here, you go Where to the movies. You... you went. To, I would go to the movies at Sam's Town all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't know that movies were movie theaters were freestanding. So you mean you had to get secondhand smoke every yeah. time you walk through? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know arcades poor, were by themselves. Your poor lungs. Yeah. We used to go. I remember talking to people and it's like growing up here, you just you go to the movie theater in a casino. And I right. yeah, didn't know that they freestanded. That is the one little oh, tidbit no one's ever hilarious. told. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Vegas is definitely more than the strip. We should remind people of so that. So when was the last so when you did discover uh, a movie theater outside oh. of it because you were like, huh? Ah. Yes. Like, I honestly think I was like fifteen. Really? That I went to a movie theater for the first time. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? You actually walk up and buy tickets like in the movies. What? Yeah. It was fascinating. I love it. <laughs> okay, so um that's cool. Yeah. Thank you. And then, so when you were, oh, you, so you end up volunteering around yes. those schools. Yeah. So that definitely fueled kind of the path of uh-huh. wanting to serve others because, you know, you look back and you don't at the time remember right. what kids were going through, but you, I look at all of the kids I used to serve uh, yeah. at Three Square and you see, you know, they would save parts of their lunches and put them away for later, oh. or they would say that they're not hungry during snack because they would put it in their backpack. Cause they want to save they it. They want to save it for going home. Uh, because they don't always know when they're going to be eating next. And so in the moment as a kid, you yeah. don't realize any of that's happening. You just, that's part of what the kids are doing. Yeah. And now thinking about it, so many of those kids were probably struggling with things that now I'm uh-huh. you know, looking for. Oh my God, I have the goosebumps. Yeah. That's the last thing a child should be mm-hmm. worried about. I mean, I mean, we have stress as adults, you know, I mean, that's so right. stressful as a kid. Mm-hmm. They're, they're like planning. You know, to eat those crackers the next day because they don't know if they'll eat somewhere else. And so thinking about all of those things, you know, you used Mm -hmm. to see it's like those kids were facing so many more things than we thought about when we were younger. Yeah, that's definitely inspirational. Um, I mean, I I think I want to volunteer one of these days. You're going to have to tell me when I can. (laughs) We would love it. We could not do what we do. So our staff is of eight, which recently grew. uh, I saw that. Which has been amazing. Um, Brooke had a moment. uh, I think we all did because getting to watch it grow from, you know, her just wanting to make a difference to now having a beautiful pantry to all of the people that we've been able to hire. Yeah. Um, We still couldn't do it. We have about 500 volunteers every month that help us operate programming in and out of the uh, pantry. Wow. So we are always looking for help. <laughs> and if someone wants to volunteer, they can go, how do they usually yes. do? Um, so you can you. just email uh, mm-hmm. volunteers mm-hmm. at the just one project.org okay. and it goes directly to um, our volunteer director and okay. she um, gets everyone set up. Um, we have multiple opportunities, whether it's on the weekend, mm-hmm. during the week, in the evening. Um, yeah. Anything. It's amazing. And we have really great opportunities for people to do direct service. So Mm -hmm. in our pantry, we're senior focused. So you are engaging with seniors who sometimes this is their only outing that they get during the month. They get to come and just chat with you Mm -hmm. and it just, it makes their day. Yeah. I was going to say, um, I actually used to work in healthcare. Um, I did home health and hospice like as marketing. So I've had a lot of in the last couple of years, especially in Vegas, I've had a lot of, um, exposure to the Mm -hmm. senior community and um, sometimes they just need a friend, someone yeah. to talk to. It's hard for them to, especially if they're not well. Like, and then their caretaker is like another senior, mm-hmm. you know, at the house. And um, it's difficult for them to just get out there and even get extra groceries if they need it. Yep. So that help you guys are helping with something like that. Yes. Yeah. And we love the interaction. Our mm-hmm. um, distribution days are my favorite. And so, like I said, we are moving, which is super exciting. Yeah. Um, are you allowed to say the address? I don't. Yes. Okay. So we are moving um, mid January to February, mm-hmm. um, just depending on when we can get it. We have some amazing uh, community partners uh, who are donating uh, their time and mm-hmm. services, uh, Penta is one of them wonderful people. And yeah. um, so just construction. And so mid-January to February, mm-hmm. we are moving to Rancho and Bonanza. Okay. So it's retail, yeah. uh, which is amazing. So in our new location, uh-huh. you will have um, three ways to be served. We will have mm-hmm. our grocery delivery programs that we do um, in partnership with mm-hmm. uh, UMC, as well as curbside service in the back. 
uh, oh, okay. for the clients yeah. who sometimes mobility is an issue. Mm-hmm. Um, we will have it readily available again, just like Target. Yeah, and then we will have a market. So mm-hmm. we are opening um, a market. So seniors who this come, is new. This is new. Okay. Yep. So we took our move as an uh, the opportunity mm-hmm. to really create an even more amazing space for seniors to come. So, so often they lose the ability to go to the grocery store. Right. Um, and so we wanted to create a place for them that if they're already coming to us, mm-hmm. they get to pick out their produce or their dairy or their meat. So it's going to be a beautiful, uh, still no cost, just like our pantry would mm-hmm. be, but a market. So they'll get to shop. Um, we're and this costs shopping cart. nothing. Nothing. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So it'll be no cost uh, just as the pantry food. And then they'll get to come and actually shop. Yeah. How do you guys get the word out there to seniors? Yeah. So we um, originally, and I always mm-hmm. love this story when uh, Brooke tells, when they first started, it really was as grassroots as you could get, knocking mm-hmm. on doctor's offices doors and handing out flyers and, wow. you know, telling senior uh, living facilities mm-hmm. anywhere that they would be, we were giving out information. Right. We serve about 2,600 seniors a month. Uh, in our pantry that's yeah which is incredible amazing. yeah um, and even some it's my favorite when seniors say like uh-huh. oh I saw your video on Instagram or I saw it on Facebook and it's like yeah. how adorable yeah you saw our it's, video on Facebook. it's such a good feeling right <laughs> yeah. when when you know that people are actually paying attention yes yeah it's, that's amazing and to know that you know this may be their only kind of interaction or engagement we get so a, yeah one of the best things that I think volunteers can do is come into the pantry on our serving days and actually just chat with them yeah not only help them with groceries but chat with them they love it right right and like I said I know firsthand that they need that yes definitely. it makes their day mm-hmm. it, it really it. does yeah I mean and it I, makes yours I mean yes I leave it does feeling like wow yeah, you made someone I happy. Made Not just one person, today. a lot of people. You may, you're making a huge difference. <laughs> so when you're not out there feeding the homeless and feeding the seniors and drinking red wine. Right, drinking wine. <laughs> what do you like to do? <laughs> Yay! What do you like to do for fun, Andrea? Do yeah. you do you have a life outside of feeding everybody? <laughs> that doesn't involve wine? I mean, yeah. no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just kidding. There are some days. Um, yeah, I love, you know, being from here. I am a member of Junior League, okay. which is a women's based uh, volunteer organization. Another here. volunteer. Volunteer. I guess maybe that's all I do. And I mean, we do have wine at our meetings, so you- that helps. But apparently that's all I do. Um, I try to think. You're a volunteer guru, I, yes, I see. Okay. I try to think that I am sporty spice and like to go to the mountains. But I mean, like I go. What was the last time you went? Right. Um, <laughs> a long while ago. Maybe we need to do a yes, hiking Yes, maybe we should. Yeah, um, you know what? I would love that. I've been wanting to do that. I can't find anyone to go with me. See, and I need motivation for someone to okay. say, do you really want to do this? But Andrea? hold on. Do you know oh, the trails? Yeah. There's maps. No, no. Because <laughs> I don't. And all I've been trying to do, I swear, for like the longest oh time, God, we're going. I'm just trying to get people, someone, just one person to say, I know because there's so many beautiful ones yes. in Vegas. Another thing about Vegas that yes. people don't know is there's beautiful it's like less hiking. Than an hour. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I don't care. We can get lost. We'll just bring See? a bottle of Just wine. one person can make a difference. So we got this. Yes, that'll be great. Let's I got just that go part. do it. We'll film yes, it. We will be fine. Um, I'll I'm dress down. apart. We're yeah. good. We're okay. Ahead. So you like to hike. Um, hike. <laughs> in quotes <laughs> and um are you doing anything fun for the holidays i mean you're from vegas so yes what do vegas locals do for the holidays yes. it's so funny um because i'm actually leaving <laughs> what i'm All going right, to new york no for sense. christmas what you're go- yes. you know i'm from massachusetts right i love boston have you ever been to new york oh well, you've been to boston this yes your- i've been to new york okay but um, only ever in the summer or the uh, very beginning of December. Okay. So this will be, it's in my freezing. head, is so magical. So cold. You don't know how cold. Do I, you have a winter jacket? Like, well, you, I think you live in I Vegas. Do. Okay. I buy jackets. I, you're going to need a big bubble coat. I'm warning you. It's a hat, be- gloves, scarf. Are you kidding me? Yes. You're going to die. Out yeah. There. So I went with my niece and nephew and, um, to the Ethelim uh, chocolate cactus oh, lights yeah. the other night. And I wore two jackets, a hat, <laughs> scarf, gloves. I think I put tights on yeah. under like pants. It's going to be like, 10 times colder than that. It's nothing compared to that. Yeah. Good luck, Andrea. And, you know, I am very spoiled now. Uh, I think we all are in Vegas. Uh, we're, so, we're spoiled in so many ways so in spoiled. Vegas. I'm always saying that. Right. But um, I've been here almost eight years. And now when it gets cold, I'm a big baby. Yeah, because it's freezing. Yeah, but I used to not be able to find my car and have to shovel it out of the snowbank. Oh, like, goodness. 
And so, yeah. So you're going to, are you going to, do you have family? And I'm supposed going to? Uh, with my mom and sister. Oh, that'll yes. be fun. Um, so it'll be super fun. They've never yeah. been for Christmas. So That's so cool. The tree, it'll be adorable. We will be back for New Year's. Um, okay. I don't think I could handle New Year's in New York. Have you ever done the, well, come on. Have you ever done it on the strip? I have. Okay. I have. That's Naturally, crazy. you have to do that. It's yeah. insane. Um, having a room mm-hmm. made a world of difference. Oh, it does. Because you could go thaw out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember about eight years ago, I did the first New Year's Eve on mm-hmm. the strip. And I went to a, uh, a, like a, I don't even remember what club it was. It was a clubby place. I went on the um, porch patio, whatever outside. Oh, uh-huh. So you can see the fireworks. And I couldn't move. I was literally squashed yep. from front, back, sideways. And I thought I was going to like die from not right? breathing. <laughs> Suffocation out there. Then I was stuck. But um, I did find a better way. If you do, an, if you get an Uber, I did this a couple of years ago. If you get an Uber and they just drop you off, um, they know how to get through the back ways. That's so smart. It is. And then you can drink and not feel, you, yep. you, you know, you can't drive and it's crazy. Right. So, yeah. And I had a good time. I just walked around. And it is so pretty. Yeah. I mean, I will say that the time I was there looking up at the fireworks at midnight being like down at the yeah. bottom was beautiful. Yeah, it is really um, nice. Beautiful. I like um, spending it um downtown but not fremont downtown like oh, arts yeah. district downtown oh i love arts which district. is yeah as local as you can get um, yes being I here, used which to, i love i used to live down there actually oh really i loved it i love yeah. it yeah everyone's gonna know where i lived <laughs> it's fine it's all fine it's you know fine. uh esther's kitchen i used to live right upstairs from there <gasps> i loved living there everything yeah. and like even now there's so many more things opening up down there it's yeah it's crazy i used to live at uh jewel too downtown oh. I love. Oh, I that. loved living at Jules. I felt like I lived in a little castle. Yes, I feel you've been there. Then yes. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, I feel like that is just what downtowns should be. Yeah, it's the cutest thing. It is. Yeah, it's awesome. So okay, so you do like to hang out and and do stuff. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um. Oh. Okay. So just want to make sure that we have given everybody the information that they need in order to contact. The just one. Yes. To con- well, I don't know if you want to give your personal, yeah. whatever you want, you know? Yes, I love it. So if you're interested in volunteering, yeah. you can email volunteers uh, with an S okay. at thejustoneproject.org. Um, you can stop by our location at any time. Check out our website, uh, thejustoneproject.org. And we have some really awesome videos on there. If you're interested in seeing some of our programs, uh, they are my absolute favorite. We have one that highlights our pop up and give, mm-hmm. and we have a mom on there talking about how she just wants to be on the other end to hand food out to others and not just receiving. And she just wants to get there. And oh, wow. how her son always asks for grapes, but they're too expensive. But that day we were able to give out bags of grapes, and you just watch this little boy. Oh, give me the chills. Um, You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> yes, I hope everyone watches the video. And you know, she's saying that he asks for grapes all the time at the store, and he can't get them because they're so expensive and and that day we were able to give out grapes which is huge so if anyone's ever interested in volunteering at any of our locations that's on there and then my email is andrea (laughs) at the just one project.org and so i am always happy to um point people in the right direction Mm -hmm. to give them information we would love to have people out we love having tours out um so that's amazing show, show everyone what we're doing thank you for getting like really giving us that one-on-one experience because I don't think that people really sometimes um think about those stories oh definitely you know you just you you hear about people that are in need and homeless Mm -hmm. and you don't actually realize how uh, close it is oh my goodness yeah I mean and especially in Vegas like you we see it everywhere but we don't hear the stories Mm -mm. that are so personal yep you know and they're children I mean yeah the, the populations that have the quietest voices mm-hmm. are the ones that we really try to reach. The, right. the children, the seniors, the families who feel like they can't ask for help. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't like to think of it as help. We just are here to serve you. Yeah. Um, so it's really awesome that we get to do that. And I mean, growing up here, you have such a deeper connection to it. Brooke is from here as yeah. well. And I think that's where yeah. we, we really love to always highlight that this is the place that, you know, made us. Right. And so the fact that we can give back to someone else. Made too. in Vegas. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get a bumper right sticker. Here. <laughs> you know what? We should do that. Right. We can Made hand them out when Vegas. we're hiking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's put a, a, a hiking thing together. I don't know. A pop-up. We could, we could totally do it. We're going to pop up hiking. If anyone's interested in hiking with us. <laughs> I know Brooke will be able to put anything together. Yes, so. that she will. <laughs> she has the right She's, team. That is for yeah. sure. 
Well, thank you so yeah. much for being here. Thank it was you. <laughs> so much fun. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know who to contact yes. at uh, Just One. And that wraps up the show today. Um, Look, be sure to tell all your friends how you can watch the Model Vegas show. It can be found in any of the following places. iTunes. Um, always make sure to give us a five-star review. Uh, Roku. I said it right this time. YouTube. Give us a thumbs up. Stitcher. iTunes. Spotify. Chromecast. Apple. Google. Fire TV. Google Play. Twitter. Facebook. Any RSS reader. And of course, the Vegas Video Network. And <laughs> that wraps up my show. And if you have any questions or, um, you know, you just want to know what's going on, make sure to follow me on my social media, Maral Vegas. Bye, guys. Hmm. <laughs>